Uh, my name's E. Michael Jones. I'm the editor of Culture Wars magazine. I've been involved in this fight for over 40 years. Uh, did sidewalk counseling in front of the old uh, abortion clinic on St. Louis Boulevard. Uh, knew a lot of the founding people uh, uh, on this organization, like Virginia Black and Charlie Rice. So uh, I've been around for a while, and uh, when Roe was overturned, suddenly there was a new wrinkle to this whole story. Uh, at this point, 140 Jewish organizations announced that abortion was a fundamental Jewish right. It is not. I mean, I, I can give you the whole Jewish law breakdown right now. Uh, the bottom line is that Judaism is a pro-life religion with the possibility of what we would call in Hebrew uh, a heter, which is essentially a, a dispensation, right? Like you'd, you actually have to go to a rabbi for a dispensation on abortion, but I would say that the, the most famous rabbis of the 20th century, Rav Moshe Feinstein, Rav uh, Joseph Bear Soloveitchik, um, both of them believed in, in the full pro-life position. Uh, there are some fringe positions inside Judaism that suggest the opposite, but the bottom line is that it is not a violation of religious freedom to have a neutral statute that applies criminally across all people, that's not a violation of religious freedom. I mean, this is something that's been held repeatedly by the Supreme Court itself. So the, the, this notion that you have a religious freedom to get abortion, or that it's a religious act to be able to get an abortion, is kind of a wild claim. And, and by the way, the, the, the Jewish organizations that are pushing this, uh, most of them don't even keep Shabbos. I mean, like, the, most of them don't keep kosher. Most of them don't, don't do any of the actual Jewish statutory laws. Just here they've decided to, to stick their thumb in the pie. But it's, it's, it's a ridiculous claim legally, morally, Judaically. It, it, it has very little to support it. So are these 140 Jewish organizations wrong when they say that? Yes, they're, they're dead wrong when they say that. Uh, and Why is it that so many of them say that then? Because the vast majority of Jewish organizations don't know anything about Judaism. I mean, that... Like, this is, it, it, honestly, this is a question that I get more broadly a lot of the time. The question I get more broadly a lot of the time, and this is really more about voting, they'll say, like, why do so many Jews vote, vote liberal? Why do so many Jews vote in favor of anti-religious positions? Why do so many Jews support gay marriage? Why do so many Jews support abortion? Why? And the answer is because the vast, vast, vast majority of Jews are non-observant in any way. It's like asking, like, self-identifying as a Jew doesn't actually mean that you practice Judaism in any sort of serious fashion. It's, it's sort of like asking people if they were born Catholic and then polling Catholics, right? There are a lot of people who were born into a Catholic family and no longer practice, practice Catholicism. So if you ask a lapsed Catholic about their perspectives and then you attribute that to Catholicism, you'd be making a fairly large category error. This happens with Judaism all the time, all the time. Because the truth is that if you look at the Orthodox community, the Orthodox community that takes seriously Jewish law tends to vote overwhelmingly to the right and tends to be significantly pro-life. One more, one more. Okay. From a practical point of view, these cases are now going through the courts where they're saying that uh, if you prohibit abortion, you will prevent Jews from practicing their religion. Now, this is something that's going to have to be dealt with in co courts across the country. Are, are you arguing with Jewish organizations here? Are you trying to convert them or are you just coming here to try and preach to the choir? I mean... Am I, am I talking to the, the non-Orthodox Jews and telling them that they're wrong? Yes, literally every day.